in addition to optimizing code, we can also pessimize code. We can do yeah. things that make it harder for the CPU to run it for no real reason. Like just we had two things we could choose to do here and we arbitrarily somewhat chose this much worse one because of some other weird metrics that I don't necessarily know where they come from, like clean code that I don't feel like anyone ever proved really made anyone more productive, but I can prove they make the CPU less productive. So it seems like a bad trade. And that was pessimization. There, there's, there's this weird thing I think that we all have in our head as programmers, which is what if I add one more? And I feel okay. like this has created an abstraction like complex okay. among everybody. It's just like, well, we could have tomorrow. And it's like, yeah, we will. And when we do, yeah. we could consider something different. But for now, I'm yeah. just, I always just do like 1D programming because there's no need. Like, I don't care if we add new things tomorrow. I'll deal with it tomorrow. Today, I just want to make it work and make it nice. And tomorrow, if it really, <clears throat> truly does call for this really abstract concept, then we can do it. But almost always has the abstract concept looked clean on a single line where it could be like dot get type or whatever. But the shit behind it is crazy. And the moment you need the change, you're like, I have to burn the whole thing down. I can't remember what I did, and it's completely confusing. <laughs> so uh, that, <clears throat> that thing that you literally just said is one of the biggest things that if we could just stop people from doing it, it would make a huge, huge impact. Because what happens is people and, – and, you know, I, I think I'm a pretty good programmer – but I and I've definitely worked with some of great programmers, right? So I've seen what they can do. And so I think I have a pretty good handle on like if I was to think of the best programmer I know, what do I think their capabilities are? And this is this programmer is gonna be like way better, way better than the average, like your John Carmax, those yeah. kind of guys. <clears throat> I we, know those we have guys. one at They're Netflix, his name is Kevin Lee. There you go. So you know that guy, you can think of who that guy is, right? And the thing is, when I think about that, I know that they, even them, don't really have the ability to think through an entire complex programming problem without actually doing the programming. They have to see all of the details before they really get it. And usually they have to do it and then they'll change some stuff after. They're like, oh, I see how that went. Now I'm going to revise what I did because there was a better way. Right? Oh my goodness, I love this. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm saying though, right? You you know you it, maybe I'm missing the mark here because someone out there is thinking about uh, the, the best programmer they know and that's not true, but like literally every best programmer I know where I looked at that person like holy crap, this this person's amazing. This was true of them. And so the way I think of it, and it's it's absolutely true for me, because if it's going to be true for them, it's going to be true for me. That's just a given. Um, but I feel it in practice, is that I can't predict the correct code structure for something I haven't done yet. So if, by definition, I'm choosing a particular code path because I think it does something that I want to take advantage of in the future... I almost always tell myself, no, because I'm wrong. Not because it wouldn't be great to be able to do that, but because you're wrong. That won't be the design that you actually want when you go to do the thing that you haven't done yet. Let's go. So, this you is know what so I'm saying? good. No, this is totally true. Oh, and my so goodness. What happens to me is that. And I've, I've, I still do it today sometimes because the voice doesn't kick in. I right? know it doesn't. Um, I do it too. Oh yes. my goodness. And so every time something I do goes smoothly, it's because I remembered write the damn thing first that just does literally what you were trying to do. And then you will see after you do that, which, which only takes like a day or two, yep. right? Because yeah. you're not thinking about anything else. You're just writing this little thing that does something fairly simple. And then you will see what the correct design was for that. And you just make some modifications 
to put that into a nice, simple state, and then you're done. And when the time comes, because it will come, and this is fine, when you decide you need to change it, you just write that one new piece and you re you move the design around a little bit to accommodate it. And it goes very smoothly because you're always working with the actual ground truth. You actually have the thing running so you know whether or not the design works because it is literally working. Predictive design, uh, it, except it's one in a million, yeah. fails. First off, this is great talk. I love this. I love this so much. You know, I, I get shit on the most, one of my most controversial opinions, I think, on the Twitter space and on everywhere oh. else. I have TikToks describing why I'm stupid, calling me, oh, he thinks he's a genius. I say, oh learn to type fast. Because you know what? You're okay. going to get yeah. way more opportunities to make a good decision because you could just simply get your idea out there. It is worth You're it so more right. than anything else in my life is just being able to type fast. And that's that. It's not a hard thing. And then, you know, you always get the people who be like, well, you know, I plan my stuff ahead. I can't. I'm not smart enough to plan yeah. all my stuff ahead. I have to play with it because I'm like, oh, this API is going to return a JSON object. Oh, yeah. But then it's sometimes, you know, request times out. Sometimes we get bad requests for no reason. Sometimes it just doesn't respond. Like, it just gives you empty and you blow up your program. Like, there's like nine different ways to hell. You don't know any of them. Just get things out there, try it out, see what's going on, and then I go back and like take some time and redesign it every single time. It's been the best way to write software I've ever done, and I've tried. I, I actually was getting my master's in software engineering. If you even realize that that was a thing, it turns out it is I a neither. thing. There's <laughs> a neither. master's in software engineering, and I had to write out like sequence diagrams and UML diagrams and all of this, and we took six months to design this thing that's gonna be running on a supercomputer. Day one, I go and throw up like a very simple thing, too slow for a supercomputer. Couldn't even run on it. It was so bad. And I said, okay, I'm going to break this design and I'm just going to make a bunch of public getters because this was in Java 1.5 days, I think. And I'm like, I'm just going to make a bunch of getters and we're going to drop all these functions and everything. Ran smoothly. It was like a hundred times faster. And I was like, why is this? What has happened here? And then that's when I realized you can plan all you want. You're just wrong. <laughs> you just built the wrong thing. It's all it is. <laughs> I mean... Everything you just said is just, it's just the truth. Like yeah. typing fast, yes. Like, I mean, you, maybe you don't have to type fast. Maybe you can get the AI to do it for you or something. <laughs> but whatever it is, the experimentation, the trying the actual thing is is the only way you can actually get all the details out. It's too big for yeah. a human brain. That's why we use the computer to do it, right? Yeah. And so, it, yeah, UML diagrams leave out all of the important details that actually determine how the code will run. And you can't get rid of them, right? So it's just, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Absolutely. No question. Love it. All right. We should. Uh, we could probably end the conversation here unless if you have more time. I don't know where we're going anymore, but this was great. I really enjoyed this a lot. 